Hey, welcome to the po- beginning of the podcast. It's me. I'm here. I'm Seppi, also known as Colin. Hi, uh, I'm the channel owner, Uneducated, aka Talus. Hi, I am Reasoning Mage Zero, otherwise known as David. Episode one of my uh, brand new podcast name uh, is Indiscriminate. We will get to that later. All right, so Indiscriminate. No, that is not the. That is not. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> That was the worst word you could have chosen. I don't think that's correct. That's not the Turns out. Best. Turns out. It turns out that's not correct. All right. Turns out I was wrong. Turns out I was wrong. All right. Uh, moving on. All right. Anyways. Uh, so I'm going to start with a topic. I don't know if any of you have topics. Probably not. But uh, let's start with a simple thing. Uh, Godzilla vs. King Kong. about Because uh, we didn't really have a discussion about that. Um. Oh. So, no spoilers, so we just won't talk about it. Next topic. Yeah, no, all right, no, yeah, no. This is definitely uh, spoilers because, um, yeah, I want to talk about the movies. <laughs> <laughs> Understandable. Have a nice yeah, day. Well, I mean, I'm sure a lot of people have seen it. All right. <laughs> oh, there was something I was gonna bring. Oh, my favorite part, hands down, was the when they brought Kong back via the elect- electrical shock, as a callback to the original Godzilla vs Kong, when he, you know would consume lightning to get stronger because originally he was supposed to be Frankenstein. I did, for, you know, I didn't notice that. Yeah, best, best part. <laughs> yeah. I, I honestly, I was like, oh yeah, they're bringing back electricity. That's, you know, whatever. I didn't think about the, the call back thing. That, that makes sense. Um, yeah, but no, I, I thought it was good compared to the other movies that ever come out. Like, I like Godzilla 2014 was a good movie. It's all right, you know. Godzilla oh, King, so Godzilla King of the Mon- what? No, 2014. I'm pretty sure, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's oh old. God, was it? Yeah. Um, uh, 2000 uh, King of the Monsters. I like King of the Monsters. It's good, but I feel you know human story. I feel like was weak, uh, as it, as it is. Uh, Kong. This is a good freaking movie. All right, I love Kong. <laughs> Uh, but this one, mm, mm, I liked it. I liked it all around. I liked the humans. I liked the big monsters. I liked the big monkey. I li- I, you know, big mon- the big monkey. I like it all. I honestly, I don't really. I will say, I don't remember her name in the movie, but Millie Bobby Brown or Eleven or whatever. I feel like she was. Uh, her story was a lot weaker than everyone else. I feel like sh- that it really wasn't needed, in my opinion. Yeah, I, mean, I like the janitor guy or whatever the engineer dude who electrician who worked there. I thought he was funny. I liked him, but like overall, it just wasn't needed. It seemed kind of pointless. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that's something we can kind of all agree on. Yeah, but funny comedic guy, good. Millie Bobby Brown bad because not important. Children bad. Children bad. <laughs> children not needed. <laughs> Who was that? It did come out in 2014. What the fuck? Yeah. I thought it was 2016. No, no. I I don't know. It seems like 2016 for some reason, but no, it was definitely 2014. That that did happen. It came out right around my birthday, so that's. Maybe I'm thinking about God's. I'm probably thinking of Doom 2016 as like the 2016 thing. <laughs> yeah, Doom 2016. Then that came That's out fair. then, so therefore Godzilla came out then. That makes sense. Well, no, because like it's no, because you'll it's like similar <laughs> things. Like, oh, this is Godzilla 2014. This is Doom 2016. You you can't just say, oh yeah, Godzilla. You can't just say, oh yeah, Doom. You can be talking about fucking. Uh, well, why, well, well, why were you like, oh, yeah, you know, it was uh, Godzilla 2012. Oh, why 2012? Huh, Coney 2012. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's why, all right. So. Fair. And I knew, who, were the, who was even the humans in the other Yeah, there was the, I don't, I don't know anyone's name of that movie. I'm real. Maybe maybe it was bad. <laughs> I, don't, I can't remember any of their names. <laughs> Dude, I like how they brought back the, uh, the fucking, oh, the scientist from Kong as well. He was in it like for a quick moment. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, he was there for a moment. Yeah, when he was on the island, I thought that was cool. I like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, he, you know, he, he's looking pretty young for um, his age. He's <laughs> looking good for his age. You know, that was like what forty years before, fifty yeah. something like that. Yeah. No, it was actually probably more like forty-seven. Actually, I don't know. I'm pretty sure it takes place in 2020. So, supposedly, so you know, he would he old man, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, it is what it is. I thought, you know, Mechagodzilla, I thought his whole design was weird. I don't know. It's, it, it was, it's kind it was of grew on me 
on the by the end with the fighting and stuff, I thought it was cool. But like overall, I was like, eh, I I don't know, I don't know. It's just weird compared to everyone else. I could kind of agree with that. At first, I was turned off by it. I was like, eh, that's kind of clunky and you know not great. But I feel like it also kind of fits with the new Godzilla design, quote unquote new. Yeah. Where yeah. it's like, oh, he's thick. Dude, he moved hard. fast in that. All right, I did not realize he was going Dude. to move so fast. I thought yeah, he was, he was like, a big slow clunky. wizard, but he was zooming. Yeah. <laughs> I think another part that I really enjoyed about the movie with was the whole axe. With the putting the axe in the ground and then it shapes the Godzilla in a spiral, kind of like the whole Xenomorph symbol mm-hmm. thing, if yeah. you know what I'm talking about. And the, how the, the axe blade looked like Godzilla's spines, which it may or may not have been, considering it absorbed the radiation beam, kind of assuming it was oh, I, a spine. You know, I didn't catch that at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that, that makes a lot of sense. Rip. <laughs> I, I was just like, uh, axe, exorb energy. <laughs> <laughs> a magic crystal go burn. Is this arc two? Oof, dude. When he, when when they went they went uh, when they went into the hollow earth, I was getting arc vibes, and I was like, ah. Oh. <laughs> That's like an arc. Just <laughs> yeah. like ah, oh, where where arc two? Bring me Vin Diesel. Vin Diesel. <laughs> yeah, he needs to come. <laughs> to come out. <laughs> Vin Diesel. Why is he not in this movie? Why he not, why is he not playing Kong? <laughs> dude, that's what I was about to say. Vin Diesel playing Kong in the next movie. Yeah. Vin Diesel playing Frankenstein, Frankenstein versus Godzilla. Yeah, I really, Boom. I hope that they extend the monster verse because right now the whole agreement has ended, but I guess Toho is open to expanding it again. So I hope they do that. I mean... oh, speaking of fucking licensing and agreements, Dead by Daylight just renewed one of their licenses for something. I think it was Halloween, maybe? Oh, like the Halloween movies? Yeah, so. Maybe new Michael Myers, tome, lore, backstory, doesn't matter. Dead by Daylight, fun game. <laughs> but also bad game. <laughs> bad, bad, bad. bad. It got yeah, cowboy. Yeah, yeah. I got Irish cowboy. It good game, all right? Good okay. game, Irish cowboy. Irish cowboy. Irish cowboy. Fair enough. Caleb Quinn. Fair enough. Right, well, I guess I'll move on to the next topic here. Uh, how about Space Jam? Anyone want to watch the trailer for that? No. Oh, yeah, dude. Ready Player Two is going to be so good. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what it looks like? I haven't seen it, it yet. Does. It really does. It, honestly, it was very much looks like Ready Player One, but it, it, it's weird. I don't know, man. Because it's not just Looney Tunes. It's just like cartoons in general by the looks of it. <laughs> but, you know, I you know, got that LeBron James, you know, looking pretty good in that. You know, unfortunately, they took out the part where he, um, they looked at Pepper Le Pew. He's like, you know, that's bad. Rape not good, buddy. <laughs> yeah, that's what, you know, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> Whoever's making this movie, Warner Brothers, probably. I can't remember the people who make this shit. But yeah, no, uh, overall, uh, I don't know. I haven't watched Space Jam in a very long time. I, so it's like, I remember the movie kind of, but like, it's been so long. It's like, yeah, it's just kind of, I should probably rewatch it, you know? Yeah. So how about um, the Mortal Kombat? Well, a- any predictions for that considering the uh, history with Mortal Kombat movies? Listen. Even if it's bad, it'll be good. <laughs> That's not I feel like it's gonna be. It looked kind of neat. Like Suicide Squad kind of looked good, but then it was bad. Yeah, like, yeah it didn't like, look it good. Combat, even if it's just like, oh, it's bad or poorly made, it's still gonna just be enjoyable. I feel. Yeah, it's just like the old Mortal Kombat movies were also garbage, but they were fun to watch, so it made it better. Mhm. Mhm. Yeah, no, I I definitely enjoyed watching them, whether they were. Good or not. This one actually looks pretty quality. I feel like... I feel like the CGI may not be on point um, from what I've seen. I, I, I need to watch it to make sure, but I feel like it might be a little off. I don't know what the budget for the movie is, but, I mean, overall, I think it'll be a good, enjoyable movie. I'm excited to watch it, and hopefully a video game movie will do good for once. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, 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 I'm expecting it to just be cheesy as hell. Like, you know. I mean, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited for even if it's bad, like even if the CG is bad, like that's the old CG was also bad. But again, it was it was just fun to watch. Yeah, it was cheesy, entertaining, entertaining. You know, Jay, cheesy. Cold man go punch. That is true. You know, get over here. Get over. Yeah. Yes. Very, very very. Didn't even save that for the movie. They're just like, hey, just throw it in the trailer. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Just... At all. I mean, everybody knows that he's gonna say it. That would be fair. 
Yeah. Well, that's yeah. fair, but I don't know. <laughs> Things like that you'd expect to be like, oh, in the movie, it's like, oh, he said it. But it's going to be like, oh, we heard him say it already. So it's like, eh. Uh, I don't know. All right, so what about... Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Did, did we all see the trailer for Suicide Squad? Yes. 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 Okay. Yeah, I guess you were in the theater when we watched Godzilla and it showed it. Whatever. <laughs> <All right>. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. Anyways, it looks good because James Gunn is directing it and he uh, made Guardians of the Galaxy and that is exciting. That is very exciting. And they have a lot of characters I do not recognize, but they look uh, very interesting, a.k.a. Uh, Big Shark. <laughs> King Shark, dude. King Shark, I'm so excited for. I mean, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. We'll see. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. You don't know. I don't know yet. We'll see. Uh, it looks exciting. Did, did it give you? Uh, did the other Suicide Squad give you uh, bad bad vibes? I no, actually, like I don't know. It just looked the old one looked pretty good. Mhm. But like. Then you like go to this new one, and it's definitely not as. The mostly of the characters that I liked aren't coming back. All right, only one of them are, and that's upsetting me. <laughs> which which one is that? So I like Deadshot. Yeah. Probably honestly favorite character. Mm-hmm. I could care less about the rest, except for Har- Harley is the only one that I like besides him that I liked. Yeah. Well, they're bringing back the fucking the boomerang guy. Boomerang guy was funny. It is a different actor, though. Is it? I'm pretty sure it's a different actor. He he looked. I I, I swear he he was different. I guess I could be wrong, but okay, uh, just because he looks different doesn't mean he is. <laughs> but I don't know. Boomerang as a character, the boomerang guy was fun, and they seem to be going with the same aesthetic and theme within this time. And so they've been like, "Oh, it's the boomerang guy with a different actor, and we've changed the character drastically." It's like it's still like the same. Relatively same costume, and it seems like the same thing going on with him. Even if even if it is a different actor, which it probably isn't. Yeah. Yeah, and then, <clears throat> like you said, yeah. I mean, honestly, I don't recognize a lot of the characters. It seems like they kind of appear in and out throughout the trailer. And then, yeah, I mean, I agree. I like Deadshot a lot, so that is disappointing. He's not in it, but uh, uh, I'll have to watch it and find out for sure. We don't have Deadshot, but we have Idris Elba, which, which is, for me, honestly, at least fills the gap regardless of what character he's playing. Which is fair. And honestly, John Cena's in a lot of movies now. <laughs> <I've>, um, <laughs> listen, I remember when he was just in Fred the movie. So. I do. T- okay. I do. That was. Yes. Very good. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Very good. Very um, good. But I mean, he's not a bad actor, all right? He's he's pretty good. So I I have no. I mean, he's like I mean, it's like The Rock. He was a wrestler. Now he's an actor. So I don't I don't yeah. really blame me. I think he's a good actor. I like him in in whatever roles he has played. So. Yeah. Yeah, he seems like a, a, at least he's playing a fun character. Because I feel like, obviously, with some actors, it's like oh, like you'll go from playing all these goofy characters and then playing a serious character and like oh he's a bad actor because he'd do all the funny man and now he's serious mm-hmm. but it seems like John Cena is once but it's playing like ah a funny super patriotic ah comedy guy so and that seems like it fits his role with the way he acts usually yeah so at least that's fitting hopefully that'll turn out well and then he's in the... so what is what is that F nine is that what they're calling it <laughs> the... What? Fast and the Furious? Oh. Is it just F now? Did they just get rid of the rest of the letters? Just it's just Fast Nine, <laughs> or Furious Nine, I guess would be what it is. Just, actually, I think I think it's just technically just F Nine. I'm like, all right, <laughs> and then John Cena's in that too. Keyboard shortcut, hell yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, god damn. No, yeah, no, those movies are in debate. something, something else, man. <laughs> Like just like a trash movie to turn on and be like, haha, car room. They yes. they're very entertaining, right? It's like Hobbs and Shaw. Like, normally like not movie. have like guns and stuff, and they're like that's their thing. It's like oh no guns. Mhm. <sighs> I've seen them all, and I'm pretty sure that they have g- guns. I could sometimes. just be pulling stuff out of, right out of my ass. Like it's very possible. Yeah, no, I mean, uh, they, they, I mean, they mostly have cars, but every once in a while there's a gun. It's mostly when Dwayne's there, you know, he's, he, you know, the, the Dwayne, the Dwayne himself. 
Uh, he, he does normally have a, a gun uh, because he's a well, like some policeman or something. I don't know. Yeah, one. give the one super muscular guy a gun. Only the muscular <laughs> guy has a gun. Well, he Everyone normally else. throws people through walls, all right? So it's fine. He just, it just, throws the, he just flicks the bullets at people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't... I'm not a, I'm not really that excited for it. Uh, I was never into that those kind of movies. You know, the last one I saw was I think Seven. Whatever the one they're like, the only scene I remember is like they were driving a like a supercar out of a skyscraper that was falling down or something like that. Yeah, I, I think that I was remember. the one uh, that when Paul died halfway through it. Dude, I don't know. <laughs> that, that was you know, that was Seven. That's when he died and then his brother had to take his place in the to finish the film. You seem like. Oh, like the actual like, like Paul Walker. Yes, the actor. Oh Paul shit! Walker. <laughs> yeah, I yeah, don't know. He, yeah, uh, yeah no, he died halfway through filming, and then his uh, brother uh, they had to like uh, put him in the movie, and then kind of like deep fake his uh, face to make him look like his, him. Um, and then he finished it, and then yeah, no, he's not in, obviously not in any more movies. He died in a car wreck, ironically, but you know. Um, yeah. I don't think he was driving. I feel like it, he he had an actual professional driving, but I don't know. It's, it, that happened years ago. I don't remember, man. Yeah, unfortunate things happen, but yeah. Yeah, that that's why you got brothers to take your place. You know. Yep. Another movie coming out. Don't know when, but there was a trailer for it for Kong and you know the Zilla was uh fucking the next Saw movie. Spiral was it something like that? Saw, Saw Spiral. Me this riddle me this, Batman. Have you ever watched a Saw movie? Yes, oh. I watched the first three, oh. and then I watched oh. Jigsaw when it oh, came fuck. out. All right, I'm sorry, man. I didn't know that. I've only seen the videos of like how like the people could have done better in Saw. Yeah, that's the only thing I've ever seen. Fair enough. I've never right. watched that. Saw looks interesting. You know, horror movies do be very hit or miss, and they usually go from amazing just downward slope, and then like the remakes kind of bring it back up a little bit. You know, because you usually change how things are. Like the fucking Halloween movies were like, oh, let's just completely redo the idea, but still keep like the base characters and kind of a general idea. Mm -hmm. Instead of just being like, oh, it's just the rehashing, it was just worse. Yeah. So. I, say, you know, I, I, I feel like I should watch Saw. I don't know. I've never watched it, but I mean, I know they're supposedly good movies. Yeah, it's, 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 it's. A movie. <laughs> but, I don't have a super deep connection to him. I just watched it because I was like, oh, a horror movie. Uh, they're popular. Also, Dead by Daylight has Saw stuff in it. So I was like, I'll watch Saw. And I was like, ah, gross. gross. Cool. Right. Practical effects and traps and props are cool. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. All right. So I'm going to throw another topic into the ring that's not about movies and something completely different. But right. before that, let's talk about our sponsor, Nike. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, anyways. not yet. No. <laughs> All right. Uh, to be so, honest. Your uh, opinion... Let me start over here. <laughs> uh, I'm not I was told that I'm not allowed to have an opinion. Huh? I was told that I'm not allowed to have an opinion. <laughs> Understandable. <laughs> so... Immortality. Yes, yes or no? Yes. Absolutely. Col no, Colin? Why would you not, dude? Like, honestly. I don't know. Because, like, at first the idea of immortality sounds nice. Mm -hmm. But then at some point you just end up being used for things. It's like, hey, test out how this fucking super dangerous nuclear thing works and then they'll just throw you into a room and be like all right figure out how it works and write shit down and then it's like oh guess this is my life now is doing horrible shit because i'm the only person who can physically learn about things it's like hey stand in this large hadron collider and see what happens when the particles smash into your brain <laughs> it's like oh all right that's cool well, they don't need to do that somebody already, yeah, did, that that somebody already did that on accident well i know but yeah but like see what happens more dude to be fair though kind of kind of cool though uh, well, uh... What? It is definitely, but it's very cool. Like immunity to, to things, then like immortality, personally. Because at least there is an end, but you have 
a more likelihood to just exist longer. I feel like I don't need an end. Yeah. <laughs> that, fair. You know. I, I see. I never thought of it like that though about people like studying on you and like doing all this stuff to you know the government and all that like because you would have to like I guess fake yourself after so long because eventually you know you're not you're not aging you know you're not you're looking any different so you have to like make yourself eh, plastic surgery you know you for sure you can find a way to fake an ID you know well okay well what does the immortality do then because like can you be physically harmed can they, can people cut into you and perform plastic surgery? Or, I'm asking, or with, it's like the, the scalpel shatters when it touches your skin because you're immortal. I suppose that would imply invulnerability due to not being harmed. I suppose the general thing of immortality is like you know, like a vampire. You know, you don't die. You know, like you can still be hurt. Things hurt. You know, but you just don't die, and you can't kind of, die. Kind of like Phoenix. Like you can like die. Like, dude, that's that's yeah. Being a phoenix, that is, like, the number one, like, that is what I'd want to be. Like, where I yeah. could die, but I just get reborn in fire or something. But... Yeah, that'd be, yeah. I think, yeah, like, immortality, but having the option to, like, perish and then come back at a later date. Like, that'd be cool, like, oh, you're immortal, but, like, this one thing can kill you, mm -hmm. but you get brought back, like, every ten years with all your memories and stuff so it's like you can just like kind of like time skip and be like oh this i've explored everything in this current time just wander the earth swam through the deepest oceans or whatever and it's like oh fucking silver i die 10 years go by i come back it's like whoa look at all this cool shit now since i'm technically immortal i can go through all of it as a things are progressing and then just be like oh i'm bored again silver i die unfortunately my family have has died but you know what i'll make a new one so. that's what i'm saying that is what i'm saying imagine your family dying off because of you and then 50 years later your family just generations coming back like there's just like a gap in your family where nothing was there and then suddenly a new person is born where it's like oh yeah this this family that died 25 years now does your does your immortality uh is it like a gene like a they, they, their kids can get no i'd probably more like a curse like a one person curse thing yeah i don't know well, i'll be on bobby you're pissing me off see in 10 years <laughs> <laughs> fuck you bobby maybe you'll be in jail by then <laughs> frame bobby for murder get sentenced for 20 years die come back only in 10 years back, <laughs> back. Yeah, no, I mean, me, personally, yeah, I'd go with Film Mortality 100%, you know? <laughs> I'd Absolutely. Like, yeah, you know, I'll take it. <laughs> I'm all live as long as possible. I don't know. I'd probably only take Immortality if I had the option for an out. Like, just, like, choosing not to, you know. Yeah. Okay. Choosing to perish. <laughs> choosing to perish. Because, like, think, like, it's like fucking... <sighs> fucking Cars from JoJo's. What if you're like, I'm a, oh, I'm immortal, I'll go into space, and then the ship explodes, and you're frozen in space for all eternity, floating there. All right, all a right. fate worse than death. Well, Is it, it worse depends. Than death, though? Let's be it honest. depends. Because it depends. Like, for me, personally, you know, you know, I believe that when I die, it is black nothingness, so it's really irrelevant to me. I guess that's fair, because if you're floating through space, you just, eventually, you just stop thinking. Yeah, it's like, same difference. You either go crazy, or, I mean, if you're frozen, you're probably not conscious, so... All right, Cut so that. David, given the choice, would you become a monk with me for a month? <laughs> for a month? Why not more? You're right, three months. So you know, a month just to see how it goes, you know. You see, because I heard about uh, how you can just like go to like Japan and like join a monastery and then just kind of live with the monks yep. for a while, and I was like, I kind of want to do that at some point. I think that'd be a. It'd be a, good because you can like learn uh, Japanese easier and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you know you learn. Yeah, you could speak Japanese with them, and then, you know, just kind of work and meditate and eat and, you know, not worry about... Now, do, you, kinda... do they just, like, give you, like, housing and stuff if you, like, help uh, them around? Yeah, as far as I know, all you have to do is, like, you help them around, you know, you get up, you work, uh, you meditate, um, and then, you know, you eat dinner with them, and, you know, it's just kind of a chill. You, know, you do, the, do that for a while. I don't think you have to pay or anything. Hmm. 
Yeah, I don't. I, yeah, that's not bad. Yeah. Uh, all right, Dungeons and Dragons talk now. This is the Dungeons and Dragons corner. All right, so tell I'm me. I'm quitting Dungeons and Dragons. Parentheses story time. Parentheses adults only. Parentheses, parentheses actually not. Parentheses accidentally fucked my sister because of it. <laughs> accidentally, quote unquote. <laughs> I saw a meme. Right. I saw a meme. Yeah. I, I saw a meme where it's like this dude is like, I mean it's probably fake, but the fact that like they live in Hawaii. You remember when that like thing went off? Uh, the alert went off. Like, oh, we're getting nuked. Oh yeah. Yeah, and it's like people started freaking out, and it's like, oh yeah, it's like my sister. <laughs> it's like since we're all <laughs> dying, what if we fucked? <laughs> I mean, you know what? What? What would you what well, what would you do with your life if that if you had that happen to you? So become like a monk. Either either or either, either, either or either or. I, I'd just be like, yo, I'll just kind of. I'd probably find a funny position to die in. You think? <laughs> yeah, and then just kind of like sit there holding something stupid, doing something stupid, and then just like wait, it's like ah. <laughs> Guess I'll die. <laughs> then you get blown away because it's a fucking nuke. <laughs> I'll get him in the fridge. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, honestly, yeah. yeah. Leadline fridge. You don't have any, but, you know, it happens. Wait, oh, wait, you know, what if I did? File, I... May have someone custom make a leadline fridge just in case. Just in case of the nuke. Don't even use it as your main fridge. Just, like, keep it next to your bed. Just just in case you're, like, <laughs> sleeping. You wake up, there's an alarm going off. You're like, oh, fuck. Time to get in the fridge. Yeah, I was like, hey, you know what? That's a... That, why, do you, why you got a fridge there, buddy? You got your beers in there? Like, no, 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 no. This is my nuke fridge. Nuke right? fridge. I get in here in case the nuke. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, see, I get it, I pull a lever, and then I go down into my bunker below. <laughs> it's like the fucking porta potty in Patty with a chance of meatballs. <laughs> but it's, it just, like, sends you to a bunker underground when you get in the fridge. Yeah. What yeah, if I did that? Well, I could do that, right? You could, theoretically. What, what if, like, where my basement door is, I just put a fridge there, right? Like, a big fridge, and then I, when I just open the door... Like a fridge it's door. Just, yeah, no, yeah, pretty much. It's like a big fridge, and, I, and just the back's hollowed out, so I can just open it and just go down to the basement. That's like the stupidest, like, oh, door in the bookcase secret area in, like, a mansion thing. It's just, like, the redneck version. <laughs> the fr- Whoa, hey, well, you got two fridges in your kitchen. Ah, oh, man, don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry about it, man. I just, I just like my food, all right? I don't have enough room for all of my spam. Why do you have spam? Why do you have so much spam? Why do you keep spam in the fridge? <laughs> it's canned for a reason. I opened it all on accident. <laughs> See, I get hungry, I open it, take a bite, and I'm like, yeah, that's good spam. And I put it in I the fridge and I forget about it. I like the smell. I, om- I only smell. Because yeah. then I can just open the fridge and just smell all of spam at once. <laughs> Oh god, that would be rancid. Uh, isn't that someone that like likes spam too much? You know, like like they eat spam on just like a lot of the f- like food. Like it's like it's a high class like a culture. A culture that eats spam. Yeah, I think it's Hawaii. Yeah, yeah it is Hawaii. Yeah, yeah. yeah cause they have spam must be, which is like spam on rice with with uh, seaweed. Yeah, which it's isn't little... bad. It's pretty good. Uh, the Japanese made it when, um, during World War Two. Mm. So. Yeah, yeah, oh, and the Hawaiians like it because after they bombed Pearl Harbor, it turns out the plane was this whole full of that. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, you go for the gift. spam recipes. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't an attack. They were just trying to deliver some freaking recipes, man. Give us culture. <laughs> Can take our only source of culture, our spam recipes. <laughs> spam recipes. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's how it happens. Yeah. Yeah? Oh, you know what? No. Two of us will care about, and maybe only just me care about. That's not a good topic. <sighs> JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Part 6 Stone Ocean. Yeah. <laughs> Exciting. Was that like a was that like a big deal? Because I thought it was just like I just been sitting here like it'll come out, and then you like called me like oh it's coming out. I'm like yeah, probably. Kind of was a big deal, 
Just because it, it was a big deal because it was it's been four years since Golden Wind and Golden Wind just got dubbed. Has it been four years? Like, it's been like four years, maybe, maybe more. I could be wrong. That's unfortunate. But like, David Productions just kind of slow at that shit. There was no, it, they weren't alluding to their being yeah, continuation of the anime. No one knew if it was happening. David Production kept animating other things. Which is fine, but some of it was just kind of like garbage. What, what was garbage? Some things Tell weren't me. garbage. What was like garbage? Fire Force cells at work. I can't remember what it was. It was some like fucking little girl witch show or something. What the fuck was it? Little Witch Academy? No, hold on. I could just be. I could just be legitimately stupid. Hold on. It happens. Yeah, bro. probably. Uh... <laughs> Uh, Maybe they're all just making straight bangers and <laughs> you just weren't paying attention. Honestly, probably. I mean, Colin tends to do that sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a known <laughs> stupid. I don't know. But, yeah. dude, production is coming up. Plus, like, a while ago, somebody, like, leaked a bunch of information. And one of the things was, oh, April 4th, JoJo's part 6. And most people were like, ah, that's not going to happen. And then everybody was just counting down to the day. And it was like, ah, oh, April 4th. There it is. There it is. We got it, boys. We got him. We got him made in heaven, you know. Ha-ha. Sea Dog. Didn't, didn't another person die from a gender reveal party? Did they? Yeah, I think like two more people Good. died. It's like, I think this is becoming a pandemic. Yeah, two dead after plane crashes dying gender reveal stunt in Mexico. There we go. Wasn't that a while ago? No, was that was the, four was days the, ago. The, oh my the, god. The, the pregnant person? People die from gender reveal parties a lot. Yeah. People are yeah, explosive. We killed in gender reveal. Explosive family. Built an explosive device in an attempt to create a general reveal video. Uh oh. uh stunt yeah, crash of the water. Very good. Um well, very good. Yeah. Very good. This is why you just uh go to the doctor and just be like, Hey, what's it gonna be? And they'll be like, It's gonna be this and you're like, Oh wow, cool, can't wait to tell all my friends. A nice uh, and nice then you go home. Week. And you gra gather your two friends that you have, because nobody likes kids, so nobody will be friends with you if you have kids. And then they'll just be like, oh, wow, Sarah. Cool. It's a boy. Wow. You get one of those little party poppers. It's like, oh, pink streamers inside. And then you load it with, like, <laughs> you load it with, like, an napalm or something. So, uh, like how is the stuff? Dude, I went to buy house subs for the first time. Pretty good, pretty good I guess. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, I've lost it. <laughs> well, I know we, we went to firehouse subs once. Uh, no, we walked like, into firehouse the... subs and I complained and then we went to Subway. Yes, we, we walked into firehouse subs. You said, oh, it's too expensive. And we left after a right as I deci or decided on what I was going to order. Listen, I, think I, I think I was feeling down for some reason. I don't know. I probably crashed another car or something. <laughs> <laughs> God, that was man. Now it's like every time we hang out, it's like, hey, where are we gonna eat? Oh, pick between Cracker Barrel, Perkins, or Red Robin. I okay, you went to Red Robin's like once, dude. Yes, but those other places are pretty lit. Right, dude, honestly, Red yeah. Robins, Bre breakfast food, very nice, very fun, very good. Nice. Did Did you say um um what's the chicken one? Chicken bail, there we go. Chick <laughs> the the Firelink Shrine for White People, Cracker Barrel. Yeah, Cracker Barrel, there we go. Known for their Firelink Shrine. White people. <laughs> and their old people, old white people. Yeah. Old it's white very people, good though. Old white it's very good. You know what? I want that right now. I'm gonna go get Cracker Barrel. No. <laughs> you Can you like men? DoorDash Cracker Barrel? Yeah. Oh, really? Really? Yeah. Very nice. That's kind of epic. I've done it before. I actually yeah. did it last week. Last Thursday. Did I did I tell you guys that I went uh, to Wall Burgers? You did. And you said it was. What did you say it was? It was mediocre at best. I said it was. It was like he be equivalent he... of Wendy's. Yeah, it was. It was the equivalent of Wendy's essentially. It was like it was good. But Wendy's is kind of fucking yeah. good though. Wendy's is very good. I mean, but it was. It, Wendy's is very good. 
But wall buggers was like twice as expensive, and you got so oh. much less. I got like a lemonade, a triple burger, whatever, um, and then uh, tots. So then Emily got something similar, and I ended up paying forty dollars. Now the tots were apparently really good though. I mean, I mean, they were tots. I don't know. I'm not a tot connoisseur. I'm not big on them, so they were all right, I guess. That's what Emily said. Yeah. I think all tots taste the same. <laughs> Unless you, like, put uh, something special on them. It's just salted, yeah. like, hash brown-esque things. Like, Tots... Well, it's like uh, Cracker Barrel. Cracker Barrel had, like, some special fucking, like, Tots that had, like, a sauce and cheese and fucking a bunch of shit on top of it. And that was really fucking good. I forgot what it was called because I'm stupid. But point is, the waitress convinced literally everyone at the table to get it, and it was really good. Oh, the, um... Uh... Like, Ca- oh, casserole like, uh, tots, casserole tots. No, it was like loaded tots or something. Yes, loaded casserole tots. Thank you. Well, wouldn't it being a casserole not be tots then? You are. You know, you're wrong. No, no, no. You're it's, wrong. It's like you take a casserole and you put it in a tot form and then you eat it. You know, because there was the loaded casserole and then there's the loaded casserole tots. Yeah, like for. You could put, like, uh, tots and a casserole. It doesn't mean they're not tots anymore. Yeah. I guess. I don't know. I mean, honestly, a lot of, you know, it's like a tater tot casserole, you know? Oh, you know, yeah, that's right. That's fair. Yeah, I don't think of casserole. I think of the fucking uh, hash brown casserole, which is just, like, a hash fucking browns. pan full of hash browns. And it's like, that's not good. I mean, it is. I, I forget, like, tater tot casserole is, like, meat and co- there's probably corn in there. It's like carrots, maybe. You know, are you, like, it's like you it. walk I mean, up, like, where are you getting this from, Colin? Home cooked meals. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, go ahead, there. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. You know, Ted Todd Castle pretty good. Pretty yeah, good. it is. Yeah. yeah it is. Why would I go to a restaurant and be like, give me a casserole? Not give fuck me that. a whole casserole. Can I get a 14 pound lasagna, please? <laughs> no way in hell. You're, it's like you go to a cake shop and you're like, hey, can I borrow a couple cake cake masters? Bring them over to, the, to, to, to Luigi's Pasta Palace. And be like, okay, you you guys are gonna work together and essentially make a cake sized lasagna. I don't know how you're gonna do it. You're gonna figure it out though. You're gonna work it out, and you're gonna make me a, like one of those big giant like triple layer cakes. But it's it's not a cake. It's 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 a lasagna, right? <laughs> Luigi's yeah. Pasta Palace. Yes. <laughs> Should that should yeah. that be the name for the podcast, Luigi's Pasta Podcast? <laughs> that'll be that'll be the name of the episode. This will be the, the lasagna episode. The rest of, it has to be about lasagna. Now. The rest has to be about the lasagna. All right, lasagna. Yeah. I hated it as a child. Now it's I. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I like lasagna because Garfield likes lasagna. But, Garfield's cool. Because he also hate hates Mondays, Mondays and I hate Mondays too. Yeah. Dude, I don't. Days are days. They're irrelevant to me until I get a job, and then they're very relevant. <laughs> Same. I feel like that's kind of how things go. <laughs> very oh, it's nice. another day, and then when you get a job, it's like I have to work tomorrow. Honestly, Fuck! honestly, I still don't know what day it is when I have a job. I'm just like, oh, what day is it? Thursday. Shit, I got tomorrow off. You know. <laughs> like, I. It's just kind of good. Me having this like a set schedule, like very nice, so I can just be like. Am I working today? Or I'll just be working and be like, okay, it's been like three days. I work three days this week. Yeah. I'm like, oh, I'm done. Almost. I don't, I don't know what day it is, but I work three days, so and I, and I work five days before I get a break, so, you know. <laughs> yeah, my perception of time is just fucked, period. Awesome. I'll be like, oh, remember that thing that happened five years ago? And I'll be like, oh, that was yesterday. I'm like, oh, fuck. What, on average, right. on average uh, what time do you wake up? What time do I wake up? Yeah. Uh, I've been pushing it back. So anywhere from 10 to 11. T- typically, it's 11. I'm, I've am i set my alarms for 10 because I want to start waking up at 10 and pushing it back a little bit. You know, start waking up earlier. Mm. But if I'm a piece of shit, I sometimes get out of bed at 12. You know, I've never, I don't think I've ever heard you just dog on yourself so much before it's like now like oh let's do a podcast it's about five separate times in 45 minutes you've got i am a fucking scumbag dude it's okay ah that's fair you know you got me there 
Yeah, Look, man, that's the life. No, no, it's fine. Oh. Calm down. Here's the thing, it's either I'm dogging on myself, or I'm talking about Dead by Daylight. <laughs> that's just the mindset of a killer main, you know? Killers gotta <laughs> shit on themselves, otherwise the survivors <laughs> are gonna do it first, and you can't let the survivors win, cause fuck them, kids. I don't know what you're going on about, but that sounds pretty fun. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Uh, you, you do any epic April Fool's pranks? I pushed someone off a ladder. <laughs> Did you really? No. <laughs> Yo, I walked up to police officer and I kicked the le the horse's legs out from under him and it was the funniest <laughs> shit ever. He went, Bob, you're on the floor now. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, I was, uh, so I woke up, looked at uh, Emily, I was like, Hey, it's April Fools, and she was like, uh, "So it is." And I was like, "Ah, oh, dang! I should use this opportunity to do something." But then I turned on a rant and link video about uh, was it like uh, we left things in lava for a month, and it, you, know, you know April Fools' video, right? And I was like, "Oh, maybe she won't notice I was an April Fools' video." It took nine minutes for her to sit there and then go, "Wait a minute, they didn't put things in lava." <laughs> Because it's like, I don't even remember what, what, what they did, but it's like uh, PS5 uh, and Xbox. It's like, and they're like, oh yeah, you know, the, the, the Xbox uh, melted, but the PS5 did. And then they open up the tins and it's all just ashes. And I'm like, yeah, that's not what lava does. And then she's just like, for nine minutes, believed this. That's. Are you serious? Yeah, directly after I told her it was April Fool's. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> I like how you're calling it April Fool's. It's April 1st. Or April Fool's Day. I'm just pointing that out. You have a problem? Yes, I do, actually. Why? He's getting singled out. He is the April Fool. <laughs> he is the Fool of April. You're, 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 if you get fooled on April's 1st, you're labeled as a fool for this, just the rest of April. Hey, hey, Maybe hey. even the, the next April, depending on hey, how bad it was. It's April 1st. All right, not April's 1st. All right, who is April? All right. <laughs> Not me, not me. April from the Ninja Turtles. Get fucked. I could name an April. I bet you couldn't. April from Parks and Rec. Oh. Fuck. Uh, Run that options, Tyler. Sorry. <laughs> um, April, April, April. Um, uh, a pro. He's looking um, it up. No, I'm not. I, I, if I was banning him from podcast, what? This mine. If he doesn't answer this question, we're, it's just gonna end. A, 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 a. Hey, I'm having a stroke. <laughs> he never found out. I don't know any Aprils. He is the fool. He now. is now the fool <laughs> of April. No. <laughs> no, please. Please don't, don't do it. No. Yeah, you know, I'm disappointed. All right, well, moving on. All right, so I just watched a video of a man. Uh, so you know how like uh, stadiums have like those uh kiss kiss cams or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, so it's, uh, like, yeah, this dude and this, uh, girl, right? Uh, the kiss cam goes on them. And the dude, uh, is just sitting there, unzips his pocket, reaches in, pulls out a piece of paper, puts it down, looks up, pulls it up, and it just says, uh, my sister with an arrow pointing to, to the woman next to him. I was like, well, that man came prepared. <laughs> yeah, that's hilarious. God damn! I thought you were gonna be like, "Yo, then you know this is kind of related to that uh, Hawaii story, you know, with the nuke and the guy and his sister." Yeah, that happened, but it was live on a Kiss Cam at a football. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you see, the nuke, the, the nuke was inbound. The the nuke was inbound. They were watching the game in Hawaii, and he looked to his sister and said, "Yo, the nuke ain't coming." They looking at us. It's time. <laughs> I like I like it I like it in the story it was the chick that came with another guy too. Oh really? It was a sister that came into the brother. Yeah. Damn, women do be thirsty though. <laughs> For that brothers. <laughs> <laughs> Them step brothers. Not even it was real brother. Right. That was the problem, which is why it was. That's the problem. If they were step, it'd be perfectly fine. Well, at least they're not related. At least they're not related at that point. At least they're not related at that point. He's got a point. That's fair, I guess. Which is why that's better than if they're actual. Like, when you, like, see it's like, oh, I fucked my cousin. Like, that's disgusting. Because, like, you're cousins, you know? Like, a weird ass. Weird people out there, you know? And I will, I will kink shame you if you're into that shit. If you're into cousin fucking. Yeah. <laughs> 
It's one step too far, all right? That's like two steps past like kiss it. rape, but right. yeah. hey, kissing your cousin. You know what? We can make it. We can make an exception for that. Can as we? As soon as you, as, can you said, we? you said no. You <laughs> you said fucking your cousin's <laughs> one step too far. Take a step back, kiss your cousin. I feel like a boob That's rap would be like worse, work or would would you, would be better. You, buddy. Yeah. All right. Listen. I I, I mean, what is half a step back? Like. You know, yeah, it's still half a step too far, though. Is, okay, that's what I'm saying. Is that what you're saying? Is half a step forward equivalent to the kissing, and then, like, a whole step back, which is fine, is a boob grab. So you just grab your cousin's tits, right? There's one, all right? <laughs> she had breast cancer. She was only See? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. My cousin is a man. One popped, all right? <laughs> one popped, all right? Alright, you're just assuming, <laughs> you're assuming my cousin's gender. We have the same cousin, alright? You should know this. M me and you have the same cousin? What? Me and you have the same cousin. Yeah, we have the same cousin now. Yep. <laughs> Turns out we're brothers. I married Dean. <laughs> <laughs> I married Dean too. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like, you get a text, yo, your brother's gay. R reply, that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. <laughs> Why didn't we watch Veggie Tales, Colin? Oh, <laughs> Why did that just not happen? It's like my supervisor asked me today because I, well, he was singing that song from Little Foot. Yeah, the, the the big, 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 big water. You know? Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, well, he knows that one. He knows that one. All right, well, very good. Anyways, point of the matter is, he was like, you ever watched Veggie Tales, Talus? Oh, my. No. I always watch it at church, which is why I watch it. Otherwise. Yeah. Like, I'd come home and watch it if my cousins were over because they had it on, like, DVD, but I never had it. Yeah. Fast fair. I just know that, I don't know, it just seemed like a lot of people um, had watched it, and I just, like, didn't even know it existed as a child. I was like, what? What do you mean, Bionicles? <laughs> Dude, Bionicles was lit. But you know what was better that we did watch? Dinosaurs. Dinosaurs. Like oh the like the like the live like the weird CG the movie puppet, dinosaurs. Yeah. <laughs> dinosaurs. Yeah. Whoa whoa wait calm down wait wait puppet wait wait wait, wait, wait. take a step back oh wait, wait do you mean like which dinosaurs I'm confused the one with the pink baby okay that dinosaurs all right because I, I thought you were talking about the movie dinosaurs with the lemurs. No, I'm talking about dinosaurs. The, show. the, the movie was good. The yeah. movie good. Well, the movie was good. The yes. movie real good. And it's like it was an iguanodon and then like a carno. Was it the bad guy? Yeah, yeah, the carno with the bad guy. Yeah, the big horns. He was all devil. Was all, you know, but like but I was talking about the show dinosaurs. The show dinosaurs. I've seen that. And then there's also the name before time, which is not yeah. not real dinosaurs. I googled dinosaurs expecting it to show up, but I don't know why. Well, that's unfortunate. It probably should have actually. It's more popular than you think it would be. That's fair. But, you know, a quote unquote real dinosaur showed up. You know what? I didn't think about that. Dude, it's on <laughs> Disney Plus. I forgot. Oh, I gotta rewatch that shit. What? Wait, dinosaurs on Disney Plus? I think so, yeah. Like the that's show. That's what it's showing. That's unfortunate. Coming to Disney Plus this fall. This fall. Oh, yeah. It's a long time. This fall. I can't wait that long. Why not? Let's watch it. Yeah, these fuckers. Hey. Look at them. Oh, oh, that dinosaur. Yeah, that dinosaur. <laughs> Stop an image. Get I one. never oh, watched God. that, and I thank God every day for that. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> Earl and Dude, Robbie. Look at the grandma. And right? the baby. No, look at the grandma. She, she's sly. She got secrets. She's like dumb. Remember the episode where they were like, ah, oh, Earl was like, yo, it's time to throw my grandma off the cliff. I got Because that's a thing when dinosaurs reach 70, they throw them off the cliff. You know what? What? I can't say I remember that. Did, 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 did they do it? Did they throw off the cliff and then that was it for her? I don't think so. That's what I figured. Now, I do remember the episode, the very last episode where they all froze to death and died. That was pretty good. Yeah, that was, yeah. That was, a. Uh, they died? Yeah. I also think the baby might have been the Antichrist, if I'm remembering, but, you know. What was this? What, who made this? <laughs> oh, I don't remember, but I know they, like, Jim Henson, like, designed some of the stuff, and then he died before it came to fruition, but the Henson Company still helped with all the puppets and animatronics and suits and stuff. I remember one episode when the teenager came in with a leather jacket. It was like, smoking's cool. And then everyone was like, no, it's not. And he's like, oh, man. 
<laughs> Bobby was all like, I'm a herbivore. And then his dad was like, that's bad. And then the sister was like, that's because you're, her what was it, herbophobic. It was like, oh. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. And then it oh. turned in, and then it went to more about a drug analogy. It went from like a gay analogy to like a drug analogy because you found like a bag full of lettuce. <laughs> they got eaten by a swamp monster at the end of it. That was weird. You too. remember when was the last time you watched this? So did you just watch some recap video? Because you remember a lot more than I do. I I did watch like because uh, <laughs> I did watch a video about it recently, but I also watched some of it the other day, like clips on youtube uh, the other day you're like you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna watch dinosaurs, dinosaurs. <laughs> you're it's, like oh grandma it's no <laughs> it's, a show. it's a good show it's like the simpsons but better do you remember, do you remember <laughs> phil of the future phil of the future i don't man i remember that show people. the only thing i remember is that phil was from the future and he had an extra toe and one day when they were out and they were crushing crushing up on some of them uh some of them uh, grapes to make a uh, or juice i guess uh, his toe fell, uh to fell. no 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 he had nine toes he only had nine toes and uh, he put in a fake toe on to look like he had ten and when he was crushing up the grapes it fell off and then everyone was like oh he's a toe yeah, I don't remember uh, that. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, Dude, the theme song was pretty bang. <laughs> Dude, the troop. <laughs> the troop. The, the troop. <laughs> the troop had some of the best monster designs, if I can remember correctly. Wasn't like the pilot Wasn't, like, episode, the pilot like, episode, like the fucking, like, the fucking uh, uh, like, like, demon thing? No, it was like the, uh, like the, what was it, like the tremors thing? Worm? Was it the worm? It might have been. I, it oh, was probably yeah. the one. It was either one. Or I remember the one thing that was on like two legs and a big mouth, and it was uh, had like horns or something. Hor or horns like, are the one with the sneakers. Uh, or, sneakers. Well, there was two with horns. I'm gonna go with the the horns. I don't know nothing about no sneakers. Well, it, it didn't have sneakers, but somebody dressed up as it, and he had sneakers on <laughs> when he was dressed up as it. Oh, okay, understandable. It was like green. Remember? No. Do I only I remember see. like? The dragon fruit. Oh, wow. That's the only thing I remember out of this show. The dragon fruit. You know what I'm talking about? <clears throat> yeah, 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 yeah. When they were like, "Oh, the dragon fruit," and then you know the 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 the, the one guy who was like, "Was he a janitor? Or like a fake janitor?" Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. He's yeah. like, "Oh, here's the fruit." Like, he Have the fruit one. Like, He's ah. like, "I'm going to the dragon fruit," and it's like, "That's gross. Why would you do that?" <laughs> Why'd you eat this? I gave it to you, expecting you to eat it, and then you ate it, and now I'm upset at you. <laughs> Why would you eat that? I didn't want you to eat that one. I just wanted you to look at it. And be like, what the <laughs> fuck is that? <laughs> what the fuck is this? Why I called dragon fruit? Because it weird. Alright, give it back now. But then you ate it. <laughs> Yo, nice fruit, bro. Can I have a bite? Crunch. No, don't eat the shell. <laughs> you then he became a dragon, and then we, we, we were talking about um, Jake, the teenage dragon, right? <laughs> what? No, you don't. You know, do you not know that show? The, the, the is it called Jake the Teenage Dragon or whatever? I don't fucking know. Jake Long? Yeah, Jake Long. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't know this I don't, one. I don't know this one. Oh, I'll show you a picture. You'll probably remember. Is that what it was called, Jake Long? That's that's a football a tackler. <laughs> that's a tackler right there. It's, 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 it's uh, Jake tackle. Thank you. It's a tackler cool. right there. A little tackler, you know. He should be tackling. American Dragon Jake Long. Yeah, that's, that's what it is. American Shit. Dragon. I hate this guy. It's in a pick. Dude, but they had a crossover with Lilo and Stitch once. Did they? I don't remember that. Do, yeah. Remember this? You remember this fucker? You see that face? It looks yeah. familiar. I don't. Why don't? I just I just look at Johnny Test. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Dude, Johnny Flesh. Dude. Wait, well, I I heard you click a button. Please don't send something. I don't want to see whatever that is. I do. You don't want to see Johnny Flesh. I want to see Johnny Flesh. Oh, I don't know if I can find it. Hold on. Dude, Johnny Flesh. I found it. Uh -oh. oh God. Is this like Johnny Sins? This is gonna be on my computer. I'm gonna hate this. Oh no. Is it like Johnny Sins? Is this something I cannot pull up on the thing? Johnny Flash! Oh yes! Johnny Flash! Oh, 
<laughs> oh my god. I think Lord. that's a nut sack down there. I don't think I will. <laughs> no, censor that part. Oh, that'll probably make it look worse. That'll make it look better, bro. Johnny Flesh. Is that just like that his dog is like, and then he like, someone like. Oh, yeah, it it's is. It's like him and his dog. Yeah, yeah I don't even know. I hate. I'm sure you. It's like you can't even tell what it is. Like the nutsack, you can't even tell what that is. <laughs> That's like, you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? That, off my computer. that is amazing, uh, bro. Um. Mm, that's that's what mm, nightmares nightmares tonight. Yeah, Dude, I love Johnny Fresh. Johnny Fresh. Can't say can't say that I do. Unfortunately. Anyways, I'm gonna wrap it up. All right. Well, uh, I'm hungry. Uh, topics have uh, dwindled. Uh, we are now going to end the podcast. Uh, hope uh, you enjoyed. Uh, 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 I just realized I kept saying. Uh, anyways, uh, see you next time. Anyways, bye. Uh, see you guys. <laughs> uh, bye.